upscale in video with virtually no loss of quality. There may be occasions when editing your videos that you need to upscale a video clip. For example, here I have two video clips showing part of the beautiful interior of Mount Stuart, a 19th century mansion on the Isle of Bute in Scotland. If I right click on this first one and select properties, we can see that the size of this video is 1920 by 1080. So I'll just come out of properties and I want to create a new sequence matching the size of the video clip. So I'll right click again and select new sequence from clip. So here we are, I have the new sequence containing the clip and if I right click on the sequence within the project pane, we can see that the sequence does indeed match the size of the clip, 1920 by 1080. I exit out of the properties and if I head over to this second clip and check the properties, we can see that the size of this is 1280 by 720. So when I drag this clip into the sequence, obviously the size does not match. So the first thing you may consider doing at this point may be to head up to Effect Controls, Motion, and scale up the footage until it fits. But the problem with this is that by simply scaling up footage to try and make it full HD, you may start to get some artifacts, pixelation or blurring. Now this may not be so noticeable when viewing the video in the small preview window, but it will likely be noticeable when fully rendered and viewed on a large screen, especially if the preceding clip is native 1920 by 1080 HD. The viewer will almost certainly notice that the upscaled clip just doesn't look as sharp and crisp as the true HD clip. In a lot of cases, this just wouldn't be good enough for production quality. So I'll just resize this clip back to 100%. And what we can do instead is resize the clip using an effect in After Effects called Detail Preserving Upscale. To do this, we're going to need to get this clip into After Effects from Premiere Pro. And we can easily do this using what's known as a dynamic link. Basically, Dynamic Link allows us to work on Premiere Pro footage directly inside After Effects, and any changes we make to that footage in After Effects will automatically be updated back in Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to right click on the clip in my timeline and select Replace with After Effects Composition. After Effects will open and you'll be prompted to create a new After Effects project. Give it a name and save, and our clip will automatically be added to a new composition. So again, we can scale it up the usual way by adjusting the scale values within Transform, but this is just going to give us a regular scale similar to what we did in Premiere. So instead, what I'm going to do is head over to Effects and Presets, and start typing Detail within the search field, and you can see that this filters out all of the effects, and there we can see the detail preserving upscale effect. I'll simply drag this and drop it onto my footage, and over here in the effect controls panel, we can see the controls for this effect. So what I can now do is either scale the footage up by increasing the scale value, or alternatively, I could simply click on fit to comp width or fit to comp height, and my 720 footage will automatically be scaled to fit the width or height of my 1920 by 1080 composition. We also have some options here to reduce the noise or increase the detail. So if I just zoom into this by 200% so that we can take a closer look. It may be difficult for you guys to see in this video due to the compression, but I can see that there is some slight noise in the image. So I'm just going to play with these settings and adjust the reduce noise value to something like 50%. So this has gotten rid of some of that noise, but it's also lost some of the detail in the image. So I'm just going to slightly increase the detail slider to something like 75%. And we can see that we have got some of that detail back. Now there's no exact science to these settings. A lot of the time it is simply a case of trial and error until you're happy with the results. And in some cases, you may not even need to tweak any of these values at all, as detail preserving upscale effect may just do fine depending on your footage and the scene. But if you do decide to adjust the reduce noise and detail values, the key here is subtlety. Cranking these slides up to the max values may actually make your footage look terrible with lots of artifacts. 
Instead, it's far better to just go easy, increasing and decreasing in small amounts until it looks right. And of course the Detail Preserve and Upscale tool isn't magic, so the results are never going to be quite as good as actual 1920 by 1080 HD footage. But it does a pretty good job at scaling up this footage without losing too much quality. Especially when we compare the same footage had we have simply scaled it up using the regular scale tool. So here's the same footage using the regular scale tool. And here we've zoomed in to the preview window at 200%. And here we are again using the detail preserving upscale effect instead. You can see that things are looking a lot more crisp and sharp in comparison. More noticeably here in areas such as the moulding around this window. Back to the regular scaled footage. And you can see that we lose some of that sharp detail and things begin to look a little blurred and a little smudged. So with my upscaled footage using the detail preserving upscale effect, I'll save my After Effects project, then head back over to Premiere. And you can see that those changes I made in After Effects have been reflected in Premiere Pro via the dynamic link. And my 720 footage has been upscaled to 1080. And everything is looking nice and crisp and sharp with no obvious signs of scaling. One thing to bear in mind however is that whenever we add any kind of effects such as this in After Effects, this can result in slower processing and render times. But it's the price you pay for creating better looking videos when upscaling from a lower resolution. Well that brings us to the end of this short tutorial and I really hope you can take something away from this. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, you may be interested in watching my free video mini course where you can learn the best settings and presets in Premiere Pro when rendering your videos. Optimising your settings and resulting in the highest possible quality video while keeping the video file size as small as possible. You can access this free video mini course at the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.